Hey everybody, it's our third Thursday thrift flips video. If you love budget-friendly DIYs and thrift flips, you're in the right place. If you're new to my channel, I'm Elizabeth. I want to welcome you here, and if you're turning, welcome back. I'm so glad you're tuning in here today for our third Thursday thrift flips. Now for my first flip here, I found this little, it almost looks like a milk jug type shape, but it's a little metal canister, has a nice little lid and a handle. And I paid $2 for this, and I'm just cleaning it up here a little bit. And then I've been trying to find some nice decals or looking around online and things for some decals, but I found these at Hobby Lobby. I thought these were really cute with these little birds. And I've discovered that finding some really nice decals or transfers, they can be expensive, so you really have to look around. I purchased these right around Christmas, and I think the starting price for these were right around $20, but I got them on sale. I think they were only between $7 and $10, so I thought that was a really good price. But the only thing was, when looking on the canister, I thought they were really little or really small. <laughs> and I made the mistake when I opened these up, I couldn't believe how big the birds were. They're like bigger than a life-size bird. They're, it's a really big transfer. They're really pretty. They um, turn out to be e really easy to use here, but just, you know, I, I'd plan to use the transfers on these things, and I kind of waited to the last minute to see the size, and they're really big. <laughs> so I, got, I really lucked out with them being able to fit on the things that I bought for them. But all you have to do is peel it. It kind of sticks here, and then you just got to take something and rub. So you'll rub across here, and then you'll just have to find one of the corners or, or get it to start attaching, and then it really will peel off really easily. And you can see there what I'm using. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I'm in my husband's building. He just allows me to go out there and work, and I just picked this thing up. So this works really good to <laughs> to rub this off here and transfer it onto this little jug here. And after you've went over it and you think that it's attaching, just peel a little corner off. You'll be able to tell whether it's sticking. And if it's not, you'll just rub it a little bit more. And then you can just, you can see the flower didn't quite come off there. So I'm just rubbing it down a little bit better. But this looks awesome. I love the way this turned out. I love that little pink flower and then a little bit of pink that's in the bird so this turned out great so with it being valentine's day of course we're going to add a little bit more pink in the top and the look at this this turned out so sweet i love the way this looks and this is every day you could use this for anything uh, and with springtime coming up it'll look great you can change out what's in the top here with the seasons i put a couple little crepe myrtle branches i took a couple little wooden hearts and glued those on and then i put a little bit of spanish moss there in the top and a little piece of twine to wrap around it. Really sweet look, really simple to do. So Third Thursday Thrift Flips is an open invitation on the third Thursday of every month that Tammy from The Rusted Willow and myself are hosting for YouTube collaborators just to get together, have some fun, post some of the things that you found and that you flipped over. If you don't know Tammy, check out her channel. It's listed down in my description box. She has a lot of great budget-friendly DIYs and some awesome thrift flips. She also has her own booth. And then check out the playlist that's listed down in my description box and see what everybody's made over this month. And this right here just cracks me up. <laughs> if this doesn't make you laugh, I don't know what will. This is the funniest looking thing. <laughs> it's terrible. I would not have this in my house. But um, I found this at Goodwill. It was $4. And it looks like, I know there was like this arcade game or it was in restaurants or something that had this little chicken like that. And you'd put a quarter in and it would start clucking and <laughs> laying eggs. And you could win a prize, an egg. And that looks like the chicken. But it's a nice big wooden piece, and it has a little top on it like a house, so I thought it'd be really good to make over. I painted one coat of white to try to cover the chicken up, and then I have a couple of these, like, tiles from the Dollar Tree. I have this big one, and this is probably my favorite one. I really like that one. And this large one, it adhered here really good. I was really surprised because I haven't used these before, but it stuck on here really good. I did put some of the E6000 glue, and I put some Mod Podge. I kind of mixed those together because I wanted this to stick really good, and I wasn't real sure, you know, how good this would stick onto the wood. Um, so you'll see me put some of that on here, and then I have some smaller ones I'm going to put across the bottom. And I don't know about you, but I always struggle with that E6000 glue. I either can't get the lid off, or once I get it open, it won't come out. Or then once I get it open, it'll start just, once I get some out and set it down, it'll just start oozing out and go everywhere. So it works great, but sometimes it can be a pain to get it to come out. 
And this is a different sheet of the tile. And it looks like, I thought it was a bunch of little pieces together. But when I started looking at it, I wanted three pieces to go across the bottom. But there were like none that matched. There were not three of the same thing on this sheet. So I figured there's, there's a couple that are a small square. I used one small square. I really like that shape. Thought it kind of matched the top. And then I used another one that was a longer piece. And I cut it in half. Now the one that's a square, it stuck on here great. I used the glue again and the Mod Podge, but the one that I cut in half, it didn't stick as good. I had to put something heavy on it to make it, um, you know, stick down good. And I guess that's where maybe I changed the weight of it because I cut it in half and it didn't have that edge to go around it like the middle one does. Now this guy right here is about as funny as the chicken, isn't he? <laughs> He's a peg leg rooster. He's missing a leg here. So I found him at the thrift store. I think it was $2, but he has some really good detail in here. So I'm going to attempt to make him a new leg. <laughs> so stay tuned to see how this turns out. And go grab you a pair of sunglasses here with this yellow light. <laughs> I switched lights out and I didn't know it looked like that till I was looking back on here. Woo, it's bright. But my leg actually turned out really good and I just used wood putty. I was really surprised that it turned out so good. I wanted to use some clay, but I realized I didn't have any. And we had a snowstorm, so we had to make, the, make do with the wood putty. Turned out really good. The only thing I realized when I went to attach this is the back of it. I made a little bit thick. I tried to sand it down a little bit, and then I thought the more I keep messing with it, I'm going to end up breaking it off. So it's a little bit thick on the back. It just won't lay flush or as flat to the, the wooden piece as I wanted it to, but it still looks good on there. And I painted the rooster, a pl the plaster shade of chalk paint. I put a fresh coat on there, and then I'm using, this as the antique wax. I'm trying to go down in the grooves, and then I'm just going to take some, I have a wet paper towel, and then I also have a dry paper towel, and just kind of take off some of the excess just to try to get some of that definition in the grooves. So I'm just going to play around with this and try to give it a little bit more of that rustic look. And I find it really funny that when I'm in the thrift store or Goodwill, and if I find any farm animals, especially a rooster, it's like, boom, let's double the price on these things. And I don't know why. Like, he was missing a leg. Why isn't he like 50 cents? Uh, but I originally was going to have the leg that I was adding to be bent, like you'd probably really see a rooster standing. But uh, I thought that was a little bit challenging trying to make it with the wood putty. So I think they match up really good here. The only thing, like I said, was the back was a little bit thicker. Now this part here, now my original thought was to have this wooden sign to be white, but then I wanted the rooster to be white. And then I thought, well, I'll do the background off white and the rooster white. Anyway, I did black. So I just used a black flat spray paint and then I was gonna use the antique wax. I thought I could just wipe it on that tile and wipe it off and it would go into the grooves, but it didn't work that way. <laughs> I was about ready to start over, just give it up because it was it was pretty aggravating at first. Um, it wouldn't, I even let it set on there. I painted the white on here and let it set for a little bit. And when I went to wipe it off, I guess because it's such a smooth surface, all of it just came right back off. So when you get to the point where you're just done and wanting to get finished, so I just started painting it. I'm just taking the antique white wax and I'm just going over that tile because I want you to see that definition and I want some white on here so my rooster blends in. So the large part was, was pretty easy. It's a little more challenging down at the bottom with the small tiles. Um, you know, I think if this you know, would have been all wood because when it got on the wood there, it was really kind of you know, easy to wipe on and off and keep a little bit of that white on there, but I guess it's this kind of material is why that um, wasn't working too good. And I'm just going to use the E6000 glue again to glue my rooster down uh, just where his leg's a little bit thicker. I did take something heavy. I, I think it was a round jug that had some, like some washer fluid or something that's out here in his building. And I set it on top of the rooster so it would kind of cover around the feathers in his head, but not get too heavy down there on his leg just to make him adhere or try to be more flush up against the wooden board. And if you missed my last video, I have a great giveaway in that video and you have till January the 29th. There's three chances to win. So check out, I have it down in my description box. It's my 
video that has two Valentine thrift flips. And it's just to say thank you to my subscribers. I uh, really appreciate anybody that subscribed to my channel. I want to say thank you. So that's a chance for you to win a great prize. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about my little peg leg rooster here, how he turned out. You can also connect with us on Instagram and Facebook. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. And thanks to everybody that's already a subscriber. And I paid 50 cents for this little wooden house. It's a, actually still has a tag on it. It's a plaid product, so I thought it was really cute. I actually have two of these, and it has this little twine at the top with some beads on it. So I'm going to use another one of those bird transfers on this thrift flip. And if you've watched any of my recent videos, I'm really loving the scrapbook and paper and playing around with different layers. So that's kind of the look I'm going for here. And I wanted to use one of these birds. And this is one of the first ones I did with the bird. And that's when I realized how big they are. It just barely fits on here. I wanted one with a little bit of blue in it. So that you can see here, I've just cut out some different shapes here. I kind of play around with how I want them first before I start gluing anything. I painted the back or the or the wooden sign, that's the ivory chalk paint from Waverly. And then I'm just going to take some of the Mod Podge and start gluing these down. So you want to use a lot of that. It looks like a white film, but when it dries, it will dry clear. So you definitely want to get around the edges good. So you'll go over the back and place it where you want it and then go over the front especially going around those edges good so it doesn't curl up and then you want to take your fingers or roller or something to just run across that paper really gently but you want to get the air out that's under it or any bubbles that it might make and I cut the bird out as close to the image and then you'll again you'll just peel the bird off and then we're going to kind of rub him I'm actually going to use a little, I was trying to find a little pampered chef little thing I have to scrape stones off, but I couldn't find that. I thought that would work really good, so I'm actually just going to use old card that I have to transfer him onto this little wooden sign. And I really didn't know, to be honest with you, whether this would transfer good onto this where this paper's at, because it's, you know, it's uneven. You can, where I've layered it, it it's not just flat, like if you're putting it on the wall, but it adhere to this great <laughs> you know it took it a second or two or it took me a few minutes to figure out exactly what I was doing because this was the first one that I'd put on but once I got that corner there once it started attaching he peeled off so good and he adheres in here you can't tell it looks like you know it looks like I painted it on there I did a really good job didn't I? <laughs> but it turned out really good and I'm going to add another little piece of branch here on the right side and then on the left where it's kind of wrapping around the edge, I cut a little piece of that one off and then I'm going to add, there's a couple little dots there on the transfer too. I'm going to add those to the bottom. And these were really fun, these little decals. I had a lot of fun working with these and I have a couple other birds left. So I know I'm going to be using those in some of my other spring projects, but if you know of you know really good supplier for decals or you've gotten some that have worked well that are not outrageous definitely let me know because i'd definitely be interested i've been looking on etsy and some other places and i either can't find what i want or they're really expensive or the shipping takes forever to get here so let me know if if you know of somebody that's a, a really good company to get decals or transfers from i'd love to know now, I love music notes on these layered looks or the scrapbooking looks. So, I have a little, I have some paper that's actually like it's almost a clear gloss, but it has some gold or metallic musical notes on here. So, I'm going to put these on here, hopefully to make this look like a little songbird. I'm going to apply a couple on the bottom and then a couple on the top. Hopefully, I have these on here on the, on the right direction. It's got a little bit of, I guess, the musical, the words to the song but they're really tiny and I can't see those really well, but I really want to see those music notes. So I'm going to put those on the bottom and then on the top, and then I'm going to add a little piece of lace. And I just put a little piece of off-white lace, and then I took a little piece of the tan raffia and tied a little knot there and put that in the top. And he turned out really cute, uh, really sweet. I'm going to call him my little songbird. I did cut out there a little piece of the music note so you could see his foot there a little bit better. Well, here he is. He turned out really sweet. I love the neutrals with just a little bit of splash of that blue in here. 
really easy to do. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I want to thank everybody so much for watching. Check out Tammy's channel, The Rusted Willow, listed down in my description box, and also the playlist. See what everybody else is flipping for this month. And don't forget about my giveaway. Check out my last video. There's two Valentine thrift flips. The giveaway is in that video. I want to thank everybody so much for watching. And if you're looking for some other Valentine videos, I'll also have those listed down in my description box. I have a couple other wreaths down there and a couple other budget-friendly DIYs. Thanks again for watching. Have a great week.